Last year, I was supposed to be at the Tour of Antalya, a one-week stage race in February in Turkey. But a few days before the race was supposed to start, a devastating earthquake hit the country of Turkey, and the consequences were unfathomable. An estimated 60,000 people lost their lives, and an additional 3 million were displaced from their homes. Obviously, when a major disaster like this happens, cycling is just a small thing in our lives. It's not that important anymore. So understandably, the organizers of the Tour of Antalya decided to cancel the race. Now, a few days ago, I received an invite to come to the 2024 edition of the Tour of Antalya, so that's exactly where I'm heading. So hopefully, I can give you the full Tour of Antalya experience. So after a full day of traveling, I finally arrived in Turkey, in Antalya. I'm at my hotel Gran Park Lara. This is where the riders stay and where I'll be staying for the first four days of my trip. After that, I'll be switching to the Accra Hotels, which is the organizers' hotel. So that supposedly is a slightly better hotel, but don't tell the riders. But hey, it's pretty late, so I'll leave it here for today. Tomorrow, plenty of stuff on the menu, media stuff, but also I'd love to explore the actual hotel behind me because this thing is huge. Anyway. I'll see you tomorrow, because I'm tired. Good morning. Today's our first proper day out here, so it's going to be a busy day when it comes to media stuff, but also I'd like to explore the area a bit, the hotel a bit, but the weather ain't exactly perfect. It's pretty cloudy and it's been raining a tiny bit this morning, so let's hope the sun comes out pretty soon. But first, let's head to breakfast. So when it comes to media stuff, I'm not sure if I need to be at the press conference, but I also don't know where it is, so let me do some research. So apparently the press conference is at the other hotel, the organized hotel, so that's where I'm heading. There should be a shuttle somewhere that I can use to get there, so let's hope I do. So yeah, that was basically a race presentation. They presented the teams, the stages, the jerseys, the sponsors. When it comes to the route, there are four stages. Stage one starts in Side, is basically completely flat with a bunch print in Antalya. Stage two is quite a bit harder, starting off in Demere with a proper mountain in the middle of the route, likely to be won by a versatile sprinter or an attacker. Stage three is the queen stage, starting off in Kemer with multiple climbs en route, but it's all about the final climb, Tahtala. 6.9 kilometers at 9.1% with a 15% pinch towards the finish line. Stage four, the final stage, starts and finishes in Antalya. But with a climb in the middle, a versatile sprinter or or an attacker is most likely going to win. There's no crazy favorite when it comes to GC for this race, but there's a few that have been showing quite good form, like Paul Doublet, Valenciana, together with his teammate, Piganzoli. When it comes to the sprints, I'm rooting for Jensen Plowright of Alpecin and Govacar of Bahrain, but it wouldn't shock me if Lonardi from Poltico Meta actually wins a sprint. He's been close a few times this year. By the way, I forgot to tell you, I went into a technical meeting for the race for the first time in my life, and that was a very odd experience because there's this meeting between UCI commissary and organizers and the sports directors of the team and then the DSs can kind of take notes or actually say things or question things about the parkour like for example oh, I've got Swan yours. can I bring them to the feed zones with our cars or do I have to use the organizers made buses for that and those kind of questions that we don't necessarily think about when watching cycling all that stuff happens in those meetings but honestly that's it when it comes to activities for today it was a pretty busy day media stuff race stuff but I can't wait for the actual race to get started tomorrow I'm gonna head off to dinner and then I'll go to bed I'm currently heading towards Aisha, who is one of the presenters of the Tour of Antalya, who will be uh, my driver basically towards the start of today's stage, so let's go!
The start of stage 1 is in the ancient city of Cedar, ruins dating back to the 7th century BC. And at the start line, the first team I saw was at MB Pro Cycling Sauerland, a German UCI continental team led by sports director Greg Henderson. We've uh, done a bit of recon, obviously, because it's very similar to two years ago, but today's going to be different. Tail cross all day, a lot faster. The stage will be done quicker. Um, yeah, but I just really hope the rain stays away for the riders because I've raced here in the rain before and it's it's really slippery. So just for safety reasons, I hope it stays uh, hope it stays dry. Sabgal from Portugal, Terengano from Malaysia, Adria Mobil from Slovenia, Kinan from Japan, China Glory from well China. Uzbekistan national team, many teams are here from all over the world and that's the beauty of these small races. But Bahrain Victorious is here too, with their Bahraini rider, the always friendly Ahmed Madan, who really has one of the sickest bikes in the peloton. Ahmed, the best domestique. Yeah. <laughs> Ahmed, I want a preview of stage one. Yeah, so today's a flat stage, 140 almost kilometers. Roughly. All good, we have a sprint stage today some small hills before the finish line, but then nothing serious, it's all like flat stage. So it should be good? Yeah, yeah, a bunch of sprints. Let's enjoy it, eh? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Another world tour team at the start, Alpes and the Koenig. They brought one of my friends, Henry Ulich. He's looking great, eh, Mr. Henry? Thank you. And the sprinter, Jensen Plowride. But anyway, it was time to walk back to the start because the riders were about to begin stage one of the Tour of Antalya. Usually at the starting location of a race, the start and the sign-on podium are like next to the bus zone. And in this race, there's like two kilometers in between, so I have to walk like two kilometers from the start to the actual cyclists. It didn't take long before the first breakaway of the race formed. Luca van Boven of Bingo, José Salsa of Zabgal, Pirmin Eisenbart of Bike Aid, Tomalaba of Kinan, and Paul Ride of Rembe Pro Cycling. These riders would never have a lead of more than two minutes as Alpes and Bahrain were taking control in the peloton behind for their sprinters, Jensen Plowride and Alberto Britomese. In the meanwhile, I was taking a different route to the finish to be there before the riders arrived. In the Tour of Antalya, there's a green Beyond Antalya jersey, basically an intermediate sprint classification. At that sprint, it was Paul Wright of Rembe Pro Cycling that took the three points. By the time the riders hit the first and only KOM, the breakaway had already been caught, and it was none other than Henry Ulich taking the points there. At this point, I had finally arrived at the finish, and it was time to make my prediction for the stage winner. This is where the riders are going to sprint in about an hour, an hour and a half, so I can't wait to see that happen. I'm very likely to curse these riders, but my heart says Jensen Plowright, my brain says Timothy Dupont, a fellow Belgian. One thing is certain, the winner wasn't going to be Jakub Mareschko because he crashed. Team, very interesting team, TDT Univet. It's, an, uh, it's a Dutch team formed by an ex rider who is also a YouTuber, better than Benji, of course. <laughs> In the final kilometer, it was Bahrain victorious that took control, choosing to lead out Bruto Messi with Govacar, but he just wasn't strong enough to beat the Belgian Timothy. I'm fucking fast when I'm in Turkey, Dupont. Honestly, Dupont's one of those riders that you don't understand why he's in a continental team. He's better than that. I think uh, the team did a, will, a really good job. Uh, I will thank, thank them. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to win again in Turkey. And after the stage finished, it was time for the podium ceremony, with Timothy Dupont also taking the first leader's jersey of the race. Timothy Dupont! Paul Wright of Rembe Pro Cycling secured the intermediate sprint jersey. Paul Wright! Paul Wright, it's all right! But in the meanwhile, I was strolling about with Henry Uli. KOM, man, KOM! Hey, we didn't do cycling yeah. trust then, only road. It's crazy, right? Should I take it? Check it out, check it yeah. I just went out of the saddle and then no one could follow him. Why? Like, oh, like. <laughs> he smashed the dude, you should be proud. Yeah. That's from the KOM. Nice. But it's not too high. But... Wow. Actually, it's high. Second best, I think. It's nice. Strange. I didn't know that he's a climber. King of the mountains from Germany, Alpes in the Koenig team. 
Henry Uli. Honestly, I'm so proud of Henry. Can't wait to see him in his first World Tour race this year. But anyway, that's a wrap. While the organization broke down the podium and the teams were cleaning the bikes, it was time for me to head back to the hotel. In the end, Belgium on top. Timothy Dupont took the victory. What a wonderful victory in the sprint. Honestly, I had a really fun day. Hope you enjoyed it as well. This will be the end of this video, but I'll be continuing on in a second part coming soon. So see you there. Goodbye. Come on, everything you've got, all the way to the line. Benji, if you see on Twitter, he's going like boom, like a rocket machine, like Elon Musk on Twitter. But now on YouTube, it's we have to pass the 30k uh, line. So click that uh, subscribe button, put, put the alarm bell on. And then we give you seven days, seven days for, day 5, for 30k, uh, for the 30k viewers <laughs> and subscribers. We have to, uh, like, we have to pass Rob. Everett's Rob. We have <laughs> Rob. to pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you have it's to only be. a matter of time. Man. You have to be the most Belgian of the most followed Belgian guy on YouTube. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll make it work. Yeah. Can I have my camera back, please? <laughs> <laughs> I should leave. <laughs>